What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today for another Destiny video and today we're going to recap on some of the new info which came out of the podcast from Game Informer where Ben Hansen and Matt Miller of Game Informer interviewed Rise of Islands director Chris Barrett and exclusive producer Scott Taylor. The podcast was actually pretty good and you will find it linked in the video description if you do want to check the whole thing out. It was just under an hour. Uh, so let's just get straight into the info and what we learned from this podcast well first off three of coins will go unchanged many people thought they would receive a nerf of some kind while a certain few although it was confirmed ages back that they weren't going anywhere a certain few people did think they will be removed I actually think they're a good thing because they help a lot of people who can't grind the game for 15 hours a day for them exotics so to me it's a good thing that they're staying and they're going unchanged now if you are a Grimoire whore, I kinda am, I just need the remaining PvP wins. Private matches will progress your weapon Grimoire and daily bounties. Quests and weeklies though cannot be completed through private matches. Now for me, daily bounties are used for leveling up gear and getting that rep. Doing them in private matches does mean people can basically boost to get them done. Does this really affect anything? Well it does and it don't, it's basically free rep and free XP. What do you think about this? Let me know down below in that comment section. Now moving on, faction packages will give you a choice between weapons and armor. This is great for people like me who have all the gear one could possibly need and need weapons. I actually love this idea, although weapons will still drop random. At least you'll be getting a weapon when you rank up that faction if that's what you want. Moving on, now Zer will sell ornaments. But like most of his gear, it will rotate each week. Bye. Ornaments through Zer though will sell for Silver Dust. Silver Dust comes from Radiant Treasures. Basically how Chroma gear now, if dismantled, gives you Chroma. I think this will be the same for ornaments from them Radiant Treasure packages. I'm guessing if you dismantle an ornament of some kind, you'll get Silver Dust, which can be used to purchase ornaments from Zer. You can also use Silver Dust with Eververse. Vendor gear is being raised, but there was no word on specific numbers. Gunsmith gear has been raised in level as well, but there was no word on any new gear available from the gunsmith. I think it's just going to be the same old, same old, but just a raised light level. Trials of Osiris gear currently available will not drop post Rise of Iron. So if there's certain gear you want or need, now is the time to get grinding, well actually the weekend to reset day. Old raids such as the Vault of Glass and Protoss End will not be upgraded for Rise of Iron. But they did say it's something they do talk about and could happen within 2017. This in my opinion is such long awaited. I mean I can't imagine a day where Vault of Glass will be relevant again. That will be absolutely epic. Moving on and there is a new secret within Foul Winter's Peak that has not been announced quite yet. But this secret could be a million different things. Does it reward you in any way? Who knows? I'm guessing though it's got something to do with the bells because I did see something on a stream quite a while back about ringing bells in a certain order will do something specific. So whether or not it rewards you somehow, who knows? There's no mention whether or not hoarded exotic engrams will decrypt into your three exotics. So hold on to them if you've got them and your 335 as you've got nothing to lose. There will be new achievements and trophies for us to seek out as well as new grimoire cards. The Mighty Fawn will go unchanged from what it is now, so the Year 3 Fawn will basically be identical to the Fawn in its current state when used in normal PvP. There will be new strike specific loot, which I cannot wait to find out what they are, because the more PvP content we get and to work towards is better in my opinion. The exotic kiosks will feature spaces for all new exotics, both armour and weapons. And finally, the Rise of Iron will be released 2am Pacific time, so that's around 10am UK time, which is great for me and people like me, but for people who work and study, may have to fall in sick that day. Remember, it's Tuesday the 20th of September. So book that day off right now. For me, this shit just needs to hurry the fuck up and drop. I mean, I'm desperate for new PvE content, I really am, but I'm quite looking forward to the changes within PvP as well. And after playing a new game mode Supremacy, I can say I'm looking forward to that as well. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the new info. If you did, do drop a like. I do appreciate the support. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand But you will
and I.